Hello everyone, it's Crystal. I hope everyone is having a good day today. Today is Sunday, April 11th, 2021. I'm here for another edition of Sunday Fun Day. It's a cold, well it's not cold, but it's a cool rainy day here in New Jersey. And I am in the process of getting ready for Mother's Day. So this is a good set to use for Mother's Day. It's called Timeless Tulips. It's in the current catalog, the 2020 to 2021 Stampin' Up! catalog. It will carry over to the new one. So if, but if you're interested in using this bundle for Mother's Day. You can, it's on page 21 of the current catalog. Here are the images and this means when it's ivory like this, this means that the, the punch will punch out these images. So I'll show you what I've done. I have two cards to share with you today. Um, and this is just simple stamping. It stamps, ink, and paper. We won't need any adhesive. I'll give you some ideas if you want to do an alternative to these projects, but page 21 of the current catalog is a good, a good bundle for Mother's Day. So here is, this is this, this is the punch, as I sh stated, it punches out the tulip head and then one of the one of the little leaves there. So I've done a, a, several. I stamped it on Whisper White. I'm still trying to finish up my Whisper White before I start my Basic White. I have about five packages of Basic White. I have about a half a pack of Whisper White. I wanna finish that before I start something new. I mentioned previously that Whisper White is no longer available. The paper mill that made Whisper White went out of business. So Stampin' Up! has Basic White. And Basic White is actually a more true white. I actually like Basic White better. But I stamped this in Garden Green. I used an entire sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. And I punched them out to have for my projects. And the Tulip Head, I punched these out in different colors. I went through my, my ink stash. And I punched out just a, like this. I think that is uh, the pumpkin pie. This is Highland Heather. You know, just to get a good variety. Every time I get a new stamp set, I punch things out in different colors just so I can see what's going on. And I'll have these for later. Pumpkin pie. I did some Calypso coral. Like this is... Flirty Flamingo. I really like this one a lot. I did Poppy Parade. Real Red. Like this is real red. It looked better once it dried. But I like the Poppy Parade because that's like a brighter red. So this is the Poppy Parade. And I did... This is all Poppy Parade. I did uh, Daffodil Delight. First, I did Mango Melody. This is Mango Melody right here. But the Daffodil Delight is brighter, so I like that one better. I did some Gorgeous Grape. Didn't like that as much as the Highland Heather. I'm still going to use it, but I'll just have to probably use the Highland Heather with the Grape. Just to, uh, the, the girl, Gorgeous Grape was just a little too dark for me, for the tulips. And then we have Magenta Madness. So that's what I did. I took a... A sheet of eight and a half by eleven whisper white cardstock and I punched I stamped these out in different colors and then I punched them out so I will use them for different projects I'm not sure if I'm going to use these colors for my Mother's Day project but we'll see so here is the stamp set there are 15 stamps in this set there's we have a stem here curved and then we have a straighter stem and then we have the tulips, full tulip, then we have the bud, and then we have something in the middle. The punch only punches out this tulip. 
Then we have the three leaves. The punch punches out this leaf. Happy Mother's Day. Get well soon. Happy birthday. Hello. What a different what a beautiful difference one single life makes. Happy Easter, happy spring, happy, happy everything. May the memories of yesterday comfort you today. And this is a photo polymer stamp set. And we are going to actually stamp out the different, I'm going to do different colors than my sample, just to show you that once you decide on a project, you don't have to stay with those colors. So here's our first card. This is the Magenta Madness. This is this tulip here is pumpkin pie. And as I stated, all of my my stems and my leaves are in garden green. So I use that for everything. I did practice with a different number of greens, old olive, mossy meadow, shaded spruce, but and just jade, but all the of all of those greens, I like garden green the best. So that's what I'm going to use. So it says, hello, this is in the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This is just Whisper White cardstock. In the future, I'm going to use, I'm going to use basic white, first of all, but I'm gonna use a thick. This is a little too thin for me for a, an actual card base. So that's why I'm going to show you some alternatives, give you some ideas for alternatives if all you have is the regular basic white. You can still use it, but I would not recommend using basic white as a as a card base. It needs a little bit more heft. And on the inside, it says get well soon in the black. And this is the pumpkin pie tulip. So a simple card simple stamping stamps ink and paper and my envelope is the smaller bud and, and pumpkin pie so if you wanted if all you ha had was uh, thin whisper white but you wanted a little bit more sturdiness to your card you can just cut this in half cut this and make this a make this a mat for your card instead of the four and a half the the four and a quarter by five and a half, you can just, you know, take off a quarter inch. You can make it four by five and a quarter. Like I would cut about an eighth off the top and then an eighth off the bottom, eighth off either side. That'll give you your quarter inch. And the same for the inside. You can take off an eighth on off each side and then you can adhere this into a thicker card base. So I had already started the process and I don't have any thick basic white. I am going to place an order on Tuesday and and I'm going to add that to my order. So just some something to think about. So I use this paper pad here. I use this as scrap. As you see, these, these stems are pretty long. So I use the paper to, so I wouldn't mess up my my work surface here. So for I like the straight stem. So I put everything. I always put my stamps on my. These are photopolymer stamps. I put always put them on my blocks first. So I put them with the flat side face up, and then I just put my stamping block on top Th that reduces the air bubbles and we're going to use the large this is just stain because I use red this this is my H my H block this is my B block it's not big enough I need my C block for this pick it pick it up I had a little air bubble so I'm going to try to press that out and then this was I did a couple different this is a a leaf I didn't use that one I used my this is the B block is that long enough? I can put it on an angle B block for that leaf 
And for the longer leaf, I'm just going to use one of them because they're very similar. I use the, this is my G, my G block. So we have all of our stamps ready. And I always start on the inside. So I did get well soon for our sample. But I'm going to use Happy Birthday for this one that we're going to do together. And as you're live with me, just let me know what colors you think I should make the tulip. The inside tulip for the sample was paper, pumpkin pie, but you know I can I would be open to another color. I'm thinking about Highland Heather for the inside, and then we do Magenta Madness and Highland Heather for the front as well. Happy birthday, here it is. So if you have a friend that likes tulips, or if you like tulips, this is a good stamp set to have. And it's carrying over, so you'll have a lot of time to work with, with this stamp set. So I usually do, do my flower first, just in case, since it has so many parts, just in case I have an issue. Take my stamp pad. This is garden green. There's a little thumb hook here. Push it up, flip it, and slide it. So I use this part as the top of my stem. I mean, I guess it could go either way. And I'm going to stamp the tulip on the left side of the inside. I'm just going to stamp it here. And part of it is cut off. Do some leaves. Do this leaf. Trying to make sure it touches. Like this. One leaf and I'll do the bigger leaf on the other side. Make sure it touches. Almost. And I'll do Highland Heather. Hello Patricia. Thank you for watching. I'm going to do Highland Heather on the inside and for the outside we'll do Magenta Madness and Highland Heather. So There is the Highland Heather. And for the sentiment, I said I was going to use Happy Birthday this time on the inside. So this is my first time using the Happy Birthday, so I'm gonna just, I always stamp it on here just to see what kind of kind of image I get. So I'm going to put it over here. Happy birthday. That's good for the inside. Do we need we need hello for the outside. So that's our inside. This is our sample. And this is what we just did. Using the same same basic idea. So now we will do the outside of the. This is this says this stamp says hello. I'm going to use my A block to just pick it up. But I'm going to put hello down after I do my after I do my flowers because the flowers are take up more space than than I than I realize. So I. It was easier for me to do the flowers first and then then do the then the sentiment. So here's our stem again. Put it here for so the first one. And I need space because I, I need a good amount of space because I need to make space for my leaves sticking out. So over here, 
make this a little make this a little taller all right so we'll do our leaves Make it touch, hold, lift up. There we go. That was better. This side, I will flip it around. And that's the good thing about this leaf is that it can go either way. And then I'll do the thinner leaf. Down, straight back up. And since I'm going to put this leaf on this side a little higher just so that they don't they don't uh, they don't meet all right so that is we're done with this for right now with this garden green so I'll close that and I'm going to do instead of the pumpkin pie I'm gonna do the Highland Heather for this one on the right so I need to clean my stamp, get my chamois, this still has the, I'll just test it, make sure it's clean, All right, I'll do the Highland Heather for the tulip on the right. stamp set and then they'll do magenta madness for the tulip on the left so if you don't have a lot of stamping up products you only have stamps ink and paper you can make these cards that I'm making here there's no you don't need any embellishments you don't need adhesive and you only need white cardstock. And as I stated, you should, if you don't have the thick basic white cardstock, you can use this, use this regular basic white cardstock, and then just use this as a layer on thicker cardstock. Or you may just need to make some cards just to have samples and you're not actually going to give them to anyone, then you can use the regular the regular uh, basic white cardstock. Our mental, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm going to put Hello on the front. I'm going to put it on this side. And then there is our card. Simple stamping, stamps, ink, and paper. So the front of our card, I'm gonna get my bone folder. We have two tulips. Just close this, crease this really well. So hello, Magenta Madness, Highland Heather. Happy birthday, Highland Heather. So let me know which card you like best. The one with the pumpkin pie or the one with the Highland Heather. Whether you like get well soon or whether you like happy birthday. So that is our first card. Now here is our second card. When I do my Mother's Day cards, I'm going to do five by seven cards. So Stampin' Up! does not sell 5x7 envelopes. So I took some cardstock and this envelope punch board. Previously, I did a video. It's called Retired and Still Useful. And it talks about this envelope punch board from Stampin' Up! You look on the board and decide what size card are you sending. I'm sending 5x7 cards, which is right here. And that, this tells me that I need to cut, my paper needs to be, my paper for my envelope needs to be nine and a half by nine and a half. And this tells me where my first score should be. 
So I'm not going to go over how to use it, but I will link the video that I that I did about how to use it. But if you have this this envelope punch board, you can make custom envelopes of any size. You can go. It starts at two by three and a half, which is a gift card, and it goes all the way up to six by eight and a half. So there's a lot in between there. So this is the envelope that I made. This is the one of the envelopes I made for the Mother's Day cards that I'm going to send. So once you go through the punch board, and I like to round the points, I think that gives it a better look. This is what you get. And then once you fold the score lines, this is what you get on the front. And I like to fold that last piece in because otherwise it sticks up and there's no use for it. So I like to fold that in, just give it a more polished look. So if you have the envelope punch board, you know, break it out. You can, you know, expand your cards to more than the standard A2 size card. So here is a Mother's Day card that I made. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this. As I said, this is just regular Whisper White cardstock. Well, basic white, which is what I'll use for my future cards. But it's, um, I really need the thick. So if you are going to do this idea as a card, I suggest you get thick, basic white cardstock. So here's the front of the card. I use garden green to stamp my stems and my leaves. And I use my punch outs on dimensionals to do my, do my tulips. There's nothing stamped underneath. I just put these tulip bulbs on dimensionals. And as you see, the front says, Happy Mother's Day. And the inside is another tulip. And this tulip is Flirty Flamingo. What a beautiful difference one single life makes. And then there's plenty of space to write a, write your own personal message. So I, I didn't use these. I may use these when I make my cards to, to mail. But I didn't use these on the stamp pool. I figured these three, that was enough of a, of a dimension to have for the card. So... Start on the inside. I'm, stick, I'm going to stick with the flirty flamingo. I like the pink. So I'm going to get my garden green. I'm going to stamp. I used the curved stem for the first one, but I'm going to use, I'm just going to stick with this since I have it out already. And just put that right here on the left. Put that to the side and get my leaves out. Do this leaf like this. And I'll put the same one on the other side put a little higher here and then I'll do a skinny leaf on the bottom all right it wasn't a great impression but I have blends I can use let's see here dark shaded spruce I had to clean up one earlier so this is a blend this is there's no garden green for the blends, but this is dark shaded spruce and it's close enough. So I can just just fix this impression. So once it dries, it'll be fine. So we're done with the garden green for the moment. And then we use Flirty Flamingo for our tulip. I need to clean my, clean the Highland Heather off my, my chamois here. Just test it. All right. 
Need a little bit more. All right, better. So we're going to use, let me do one more time. Okay, Flirty Flamingo. And I need my sentiment for the beautiful difference one life makes. Think I can use my C block for this? Yes. And Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And put it on this side towards the top. And there's plenty of space to write a message. So that is the inside of our card. And then for the outside, just if you're going to do this project, just make sure you space your stems a little bit better than I did. I mean, it, they're not bad, but I, this one I would just move over just a smidgen. So just something to be mindful of. So we need our garden green. We don't need... Our flirty flamingo, we're done with that. Close that. And I'm going to do three. Three tulips again. Put one here. Stamp, make this one a little taller. And make this one just make this tall as well. All right, so we're done with our stem. Do our leaves. I'll start in the middle just so I see what my spacing is like. For one, put this up here. And one over here. So that's one leaf and then we'll do the fatter leaf. I will start in the middle again. Just do put it down here. You could go for either one, okay. <laughs> over here. And then turn it and put it here. All right, so we're done with our leaves. So I'm going to take three of my tulip punch punches. Let me and do. Let's see what three colors do we want. I used Thailand Heather, Flirty Flamingo, and Pumpkin Pie for the first card. I think I'll use. This is, that's so saffron. I think I'll use that one. I think I'll use Poppy Parade. That's a nice bright color. And where's my gorgeous grape? And my gorgeous, my gorgeous grape. That's what I'll use for this card. Do it in this order red yellow and purple so put my dimensionals two on the bottom and then I do one right here at the top press to make sure they're on there well and then just take off so we have this one here I got ink I have to use my color lifter later this color lifter will lift off these ink spots. So I had ink on my fingers. Yes, I do. One of the dangers of dealing with white, there's always going to be a problem. <laughs> always gonna have a little oopsie, right? 
I have our, this is so saffron, but this one here. And then this is the gorgeous grape. Two on the bottom. Peel off our dimensionals and put that there. So I am going to put Happy Mother's Day right here on top of the Poppy Parade tulip. So where is Happy Mother's Day? That says Happy Birthday. That says Hello. I don't think I took off Happy Mother's Day, did I? Nope, here it is. Happy Mother's Day. Use my, I think I can use my B, my B block, yes. Here's my black. And put it right here. Happy Mother's Day. And that is our card. I'm going to use my bone folder to fold it and let me know which which set of tulips you like the best which one you like better do you like our sample the softer colors highland heather highland heather flirty flamingo and pumpkin pie or do you like the poppy parade so saffron and the gorgeous grape so each card can look different what a beautiful difference a single life makes. So both insides are the same, more or less. Um, but let me know which which card you like better, the softer colors or the bolder colors. If you have any questions about this stamp set or this bundle, let me know if you're interested in buying this stamp set or this bundle. Head on over to interwovencreationsbycrystal.com slash store. That will give you instructions on how to purchase items from Stampin' Up. If your, if your purchase will be less than $150, you can use this host code for April. And everyone who uses the host code will be entered to win, entered into a prize drawing. I do a monthly prize drawing for my host code. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and happy crafting.